hello everyone. How is the bar going so far? Great. 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 Yeah. How is the bar going so far? Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, it's, it's amazing. I'm seeing a lot of friends around and uh, every year it's just amazing how the bartending community is getting bigger and bigger. It just fills me with joy, honestly. Uh, my name is Max Larocca, as you all know. I'm Italian, and uh, you will say no, not another Italian here. Yeah, so you have to bear with me on this. And um, I was actually um, representing Ireland, the Azure World Class 2010, the final uh, LD in Athens, as uh, my friend Spike said. And um, a few weeks ago, Spike asked me to present one, uh, one of the challenges that I won. As I said, it's called the uh, Ritual and Cocktail Theatre. And I was really happy because this is one of the challenge uh, that you really have to think outside of your content. You don't have to focus only on your drink, on the balance of your drink, and uh, all the technical stuff as usual. But you really have to be a host and uh, think about your customer, go the extra mile, and try to make a big impact in a customer's night in your establishment, which is the main goal, no? So I'm really happy to do this presentation for all of you guys and with uh, Spike and Angus as my guardian angel today because I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, it's my first presentation ever and just in case, as I always say, you don't understand me, it's because I'm going to be talking Italian with an Irish accent. Okay? <laughs> I uh, just want to say the challenge uh, is divided into two sessions. The first one is the cocktail theater, and the second one is the ritual of a journey worker serving. Uh, before I start, I just want to share with you some impression of the competition that I have. And uh, I think it's what's, what's most impressive about the world class is that every aspect of bartending is really tested through the various challenges. So you have to be working. The, be very clever, you have to be creative, you have to be knowledgeable, charismatic, but the most important thing, you have to be yourself. That's what the judges are looking for, and that's what the guests are looking for in your bar. Okay? So, um, what can I say? We start with the first drink. It's going to be a Zacapa drink, and the name of the drink is uh, Hazard in Zella. Don't worry too much about the name, I'm just uh, going back to the inspiration just in a second. And I'm going to be using uh, 40 ml of this beautiful Guatemalan rum, ultra premium rum, with um, a nice hint of uh, vanilla, chocolate, and almonds. Then, of course, nice Italian touch, a uh, nice apple with some uh, beautiful uh, orange and rhubarb aftertaste, cherry herring liqueur, cherry liqueur from Copenhagen, a little bit of orange syrup, and just a few drops of this too. So, as you We'll see, I'm not touching too much the Zakara because I wanted to preserve the real character of the spirit itself. Going back to the name, Azar bin Zela. Zela is actually the indigenous name for Quetzaltenango, which is where the Zakap is aged, in a place called House in the Clouds. What it is, is actually a place uh, situated 2,300 meters above the sea level. And what gives to the aging process are various uh, benefits. One is the less evaporation, the other one is a really slow interaction between the wood and the rock itself. And, um, and then the, the, the method uh, is actually, sorry, is actually age, which is the Solero method, which is a, a process of maturing by blending in such a way that the final product uh, is a mixture of ages. Okay? So let's get to the work. Uh, as I said, Hazard. Hazard is a very important person in Guatemala. I wanted to just to connect uh, the persons with the, with the land, the roots, and the Zagap itself. James Hazard has got the biggest tea plantation in Guatemala and is doing a lot for the people and for the environment, like building hospitals and schools and providing medical <coughs> services. So I just wanted to make. Pay an homage to him by doing a cocktail in the table, just to pay an homage to the amazing work he's been doing so far. So, okay, no more talk, I promise. Just go ahead with the drink itself. Am I talking too much? No, you're talking just fantastic. Lulling Angus to sleep. Thank you, Angus. 
<laughs> okay, so we're going to start, as I said, I'm making two drinks for you, as you can see. We're going to start with just a little bit of drops of uh, Angostura bitters. The reason why I'm using Angostura is to give a drink a little bit of spiciness and at the same time a nice old-style old feel to the drink. Then we're going to go only with 2.5 ml of uh, ordinary syrup. It's going to be five all together. And that's going to be just to match the beautiful uh, almond notes in the zakapa itself. Then we're going to go on with a little bit of the uh, cherry herring, uh, just to match uh, the chocolate in the zakapa. And as you all know, chocolate and cherry are beautiful uh, culinary combinations. So it's going to be only five meals, so ten meals all together. What can I say? Beautiful Italian aperitif. I'm Angelic Bar. Some Italians in the room today. Quite a few. And then we finish off with our beautiful Zakapa 23 Centenario. Again, I'm going to do a drawing like my friend Dawson, so you all know the story. We have both the benefit of um, the Irish benefit of uh, shaking and a little dilution from a stirring. As you can see, some of the tiny bubbles are forming, and what it means is that they will caress your palate and really make the drinks nice and smooth. I've tried stirring the drinks, so it's not actually the same thing. All the flavor comes out in a different way. I can promise you I've tasted quite a lot of them. drink on his own first and then you can have maybe one of the black cherries that I reduced into the cherry area liqueur, make a nice sauce with it, to have an extra dimension to the drink. Just as a matter of curiosity, I'm serving on the side a little bit of the Miel Birken of Zagaba, which is a virgin honey and what it is is the first crush um, sugar cane juice that according to the uh, Zagaba system has been heated and filtered several times until it reaches a really nice uh, thick consistency, it looks like a honey. That's why it's called like this. It's got a really nice um, round sweetness to it, as opposed to the uh, molasses that can be a little bit bitter coming out. So there you have Azad Dinzel. Thank you very much. Woo!